Hey Cancer Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. Let's get this reading done, whatever you need to hear, okay? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip the rolls if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you I'm picking up on. We're going to start with four of these. Let's see what you get. We have unforgiveness. Okay, somebody's holding a grudge. Could be you, could be someone holding a grudge with you. We have self-doubt. I'm seeing a Libra or a Gemini for some of you show up here. Hmm. What else? Guardian Angel. Okay. So you have a guardian angel around you. Nice. And you have a weight lifted. So you dodged the bullet some kind of way. Something is being lifted off of you. You have a guardian angel working with you. For some of you, it could be the spirit of unforgiveness. Okay. Or self-doubt. Hmm. Seeing Virgo energy, and I'm seeing um, Sagittarius energy. Let's leave these out because I like to refer back to them if I need to. Don't know why they came out yet, but we will see. If God says so, okay. What's the overall energy for cancer right now? What do they most need to know in here? What does cancer most need to know in here right now, spirit? Hmm. Wow, cancer. <laughs> I'm not going to take it, but show me what I need to see for cancer. Okay, thank you, spirit. We have the serpent in reverse. I told you you dodged the bullet. Primal energy, transformation, cycles, instincts, personal power, and shedding old skin. I feel like some of you may be shedding a snake, a serpent, okay? I like that that came out in reverse, but let's keep moving, all right? That could even be you just shedding old skin here, okay? Again, the spirit of unforgiveness or self-doubt, Scorpio energy with the serpent. What is it that you don't see coming? What's in your blind spot? What's next? Conjunction, transformation, inner alchemy, blending energies, balance, sacred marriage or union of the soul and spirit. Your inner divine masculine and feminine forces, divine masculine and divine feminine forces are joining, conjun conjuncting. Hmm, nice. More balance. Okay. What's your challenge right now? The challenge right now is change and new beginnings. Uranus, Aquarius energy. So maybe not adapting to changes or doubting, having self-doubt about some kind of change. Maybe some ways that you're shedding some people. Maybe you're having second thoughts about releasing something or someone. Because this, you know, Uranus energy is Aquarius energy and it's a very free-spirited energy. It's rebellion. It's revolution. It's very revolutionary energy. And it's natural-born genius, Okay. So some of you may have been you may have had an issue with problem solving some kind of issue. I don't know if it's because you've been holding on to unforgiveness. I don't know what it is. We'll see. What's the most likely outcome of this reading for, for cancer? What's their outcome here, spirit? Just one card, please. Thank you. We have Gemini, the communicative. Hmm. Some of you could be on a Gemini cancer cusp. Hmm. Gemini, Mercury. Bottom of the deck, we have Virgo, the alchemist. So you're the alchemist right now. You can have these placements in your chart. Somebody could also be trying to manifest you back. Gemini, Virgo. Um, Let's see. What's the snake? What's the serpent in reverse? The lovers. Oh. It's, it's fun around too. Gemini energy. For some of you, this is a Gemini or a Virgo or an Aquarius. Okay. This, oh, I forgot they don't have clothes on. Lord. Okay. So that's a breakup. That's disharmony. Okay. 
The lovers in reverse can even talk about maybe some of you working with someone and maybe it's not a good idea to date this person if you're thinking about it because it could blow up. It could backfire. Okay, really needing to take time to thank you for you act when it comes to a love at work situation. Okay, also that could just be a conflict of interest even if it's not work. But that represents disharmony. It's a breakup. And it also represents bad choices. Okay. You know, the funny thing is the lovers, the serpent is here in reverse. And the lovers are in the Garden of Eden. You see the snake is slithering right up this tree. I got to try to cover them so y'all can see. See the snake right here on the tree is upside down. But this is the snake going around the tree. And so this card is supposed to represent Adam and Eve, right? The choice. The choice for them to eat from the tree of, of knowledge of good and evil and all of that. Like, this is a bad choice. So, the serpent is coming out twice. Because the serpent is the one who tempted them to do it. Okay, so we have the hierophant, which is immorality. It's in reverse. This is this is a bad relationship that you've ended. I'm sorry. But it could be with a Taurus or a Gemini. I keep putting this picture up here. Oh, God, this card. Okay, so the Hierophant in reverse can represent a divorce because it is the institution of marriage, but it's in reverse. It also talks about somebody who could be very much into taboos, okay? The lovers being here is a very lustful card. It's in reverse. I feel like somebody made some kind of bad choice. Primal energy, okay? So somebody's animal instincts have gotten in the way of you two being together. Yep, the Four of Cups, Cancer Energy, and you got bored with it. For some of you, this person was never going to change, okay? Could also be someone trying to just keep you in the friend zone, but still, you know, touch on you and want to play with you like you their woman, but they're really treating you like you're not or their man. You know, the Hierophant in reverse is non-committal. And you got bored with it, yep. It was an uphill battle. One-sided relationship, Sagittarius Energy. Some of you could have broken up over the last four months. Or maybe the last four months in particular have been really hard. Which conjunction? So some of you could be coming into union with your divine masculine. The two of pentacles. Somebody that really balances you out. Capricorn, your sister sign. Could be a two-year age difference or something. Some of you meet at work. Page of swords. Somebody could be watching you at work. Some of you are working with someone. Remember I just talked about that? Be careful though. Even if it's a good idea, just make sure that you two are not going to get into any kind of trouble. I do feel like somebody's being very calculated here, but somebody's watching you. Somebody is watching you, but this card represents balance, and so does the two of pentacles. I feel like somebody finds you very appealing, funny, smart. They feel like you two have a meeting under minds. If you have someone always being a chatty patty with you at work, they like you. What's this? Somebody wants to fuse. This is a meeting of the minds, and this says fusion and energy. Yeah, somebody is stalking you. <laughs> This is the spy, the seven of swords. They might be being very sneaky, just finding any reason to be around you. What else? The ten of swords. Hmm. This could be someone you talked to about your previous relationship. Maybe why they're kind of like taking their, their time. Some of you are also patiently finding more balance here, being more flexible here. Kind of like going with the flow. Somebody could be taking a really strong, hard look at their debt to income ratio. Okay. Trying to be strategic and get out of a situation that either feels like a dead end job or a no win situation. Okay. What's your reign is changing new beginning. Somebody's been stuck in their ways, but now you're adapting to change. This is the challenge. The challenge is the nine of wands. That's very stuck in your ways. Guarded energy. Something here has been very stressful. Sagittarius energy. It's been an ongoing battle. Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Okay. So, the Queen of Wands, for some of you, there could be an issue going on with like an extended family member here. Strong Aries. This is just a sidebar because I don't think it has anything to do with the rest of this, but it could. For some of you, this could be, um, if you're married to your past person, this could be a feminine in their energy. Could be an Aries, doesn't have to be. Okay. Um, an aunt or, you know, something like that. A feminine extended family member that's showing up here. Or someone on your side. It doesn't have to be your person's side. 
it feels like something that used to make you happy has become a burden, has become stressful. And I do feel like somebody was just treating you like you were an object or an option. Because the Queen of Wands is attractive and she represents concubine energy because she is such an attractive woman. She's not a wife. She's the only queen that's not a wife. Some of you wanted more from this person. You wanted more of a commitment from this person, but they were hesitant to give to you. I do feel like they were making you happy at some point, but I think you are starting to realize you're like going back and forth weighing your options here. And I do feel like somebody is watching you. And I feel like they know that you've been through something really rough here. So you would probably talk to them a lot because the Page of Swords is very talkative. And then we have the Gemini, the communicative. Oh, that's him. That's who it is. This person could be younger than you. Hmm. Who's this, who's this person here that I feel like is watching you? Could be a twin flame. Page of Cups in the Sun. Somebody got a crush on you. It's a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or Leo for some of you. Oh, somebody got a serious crush on you. Cancer. Who is this? The Seven of Wands. Leo energy. I feel like they act like they don't, though. And then the Knight of Pentacles. Yep, they're slow moving. They're very slow moving. They're a very determined person. Could be quite stubborn. Both of these cards are stubborn, if you ask me. This is somebody you work with, though. But they're just slowly watching, waiting, plotting. Somebody wants to communicate with you. They may be opening up a Virgo or a Leo. You do have Virgo and Gemini here. I feel it's a strong Gemini. And then the tower is here. Scorpio, Aries with the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Somebody wants to... Somebody wants to finally tell you how they feel. They've been holding on to it. They want to tell you the truth that they like you. A Libra, Scorpio, Aries, Cancer, or Pisces. Some of y'all over the next month, somebody's going to open up to you that they're interested in you. Okay, now what I will tell you is release unforgiveness if this is something that you, you know, have been grappling with. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles is a guardian angel. You do have a guardian angel here. I feel like your guardian angel is bringing you this new love, if it's not your guardian angel bringing it, um, this person may feel like a guardian angel. They're very protective. Archangel Michael is showing up here. Okay, with the seven of wands. That's how I read it. So let's look at these again. Just make sure I'm not missing anything. Yep, a weight has been lifted. Because listen, somebody that didn't belong in your life in the first place, some of you are going through a divorce or something. And then self-doubt. This person may be doubting themselves and not able to speak up to you, but they're the communicative at the end. They're trying to they're trying to work up the courage to say something to you. The alchemist is a competent, action-oriented um, energy. It just is. And it's, it's following communicative. So somebody is ready to open up and tell you that they like you. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a co-worker. It looks like it is. And let's see. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody at work fantasizing about you. The Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. Somebody daydreams about you. They might do some other little freaky things thinking about you. Because that's that's temptation, y'all. That's like wishful thinking. So, I would just keep my eye out on... I mean, not that you're going to be looking for it. But just understand, don't be shocked if somebody says over the next month, Hey, how are you? I want to talk to you outside of work. Can we exchange phone numbers? Something like that. But the lovers was in reverse. So again, just make sure you're not breaking any company rules. Y'all gonna have to be very strategic about it. The seven of swords came out. So y'all might have to find some kind of way to sneak around and don't put anybody on your radar. Don't be like going to lunch together and, and tipping people off. Because if it goes against company policy, not that I'm telling you to go against company policy, but it could backfire. Because the, the lovers in reverse can definitely mean it's a conflict of interest and usually it's work related. All right. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace.